former goalkeeper and also current member of Orlando City Broadcasting. Miguel, always good to see you. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Yeah, thank you for so having me. They make it through stage play. Don't even give a goal. That's a pretty impressive run. Yeah, it's party time now, though. Now <laughs> you're about to play against the most competitive teams. You yeah. mentioned Spain being a pretty good team. I think better than people expected. They, they're a team that likes to keep the ball. They have one very good player. Her last name is Hermoso, which is beautiful. I think based on what we've seen so far, they're certainly the yeah. favorites. Obviously, the other contender is France because they are a very good team. They have seven or eight of their starting players that play on the same team, Lyon and France, which is arguably the best team in the world in the women's game. And, and they're playing at home, so there is a big advantage there. But what we have seen so far from France, it, there's, some, there's some questions there. And it's been fun to watch. Ratings were, were good yesterday. I mean, this is big for soccer. It's, you've got the Olympics, you've got the World Cup, and they're just back-to-back -back really big events. Of course. There's so much going on at the moment. you got the, the Women's World Cup. you got the Gold Cup where the U.S. Men National Team right. is playing as well. we got Open Cup with Orlando City playing. we got the MLS about to start again. It's a fun summer so far. And we were just talking Orlando City's back in action next week. We've got the All-Star Game coming up at the end of July. No big surprise that Anani is on that team. That's right. You know, and to some, maybe, arguably, when you start, when you when you saw him coming in, there was a lot of doubters. Yeah. I think Nani has been better than advertised. He's still hoping for more Orlando City players on that lineup. Absolutely. Let's talk real quick here. Just moving forward now, this is really the push. They've got some momentum. When they come back, it's going to be important to keep that going. Yes, look, you got four wins out of the five uh, last five games in all competitions. The team is playing well. James O'Connor has got them on the same page, playing pretty good soccer. You know, they just beat New England Revolution just a couple of days ago in the U.S. Open Cup to advance to the quarterfinals. So that's a pretty big deal. You saw Benjamin Michelle in Orlando. Orlando boy, Santiago Botinho, a kid that grew up in Orlando as well, getting some valuable minutes. Benjamin Michel scoring his first goal as an Orlando City player. So it's some good things happening at the moment. Miguel, great to see you. Thanks Thank for you, breaking friend, it down for us. And we will wait until Monday when the U.S., of course, starts the round of 16. Amy, back to you.